Hello everybody and welcome to this amazing discussion of Dead by Daylight. A few days back on stream, I got into a passionate debate over camping and how survivors always blame the killer for their loss, be it they accuse the killer of camping, tunneling, patrolling, or any other form that leads to their ultimate death. It seems that there is non-stop blaming always put on the killer. We've talked about this before in another video, but I don't think I've ever got to demonstrate it live as I did the other day on how I feel this needs to be said to all these survivors out there. I think it's time to be upfront and honest. I'm really sick of survivors giving out this sort of privilege that they deserve to live. They're always pushing away the killer competition they have by attempting to guilt killers into thinking that they did wrong by doing what they had to do to kill the survivors off. There are tons of examples I could show of how survive with friends or overly altruistic people can make it a living hell for killers who don't camp. In turn, there is already punishment for those who do camp too early or don't use it as a viable strategy. I've pulled the VOD off stream and cut it down a bit to let you guys see the full game and what happened. Please understand that it's going to be very ranty, full of language not suitable ch for children, but what the fuck. This is a mature game in the first place, so what are you doing here if you'd be offended by some heavy f-bombs? Viewer discretion is advised. So just to fill you all in, this starts right after a Wraith game ends with a four-man kill uh, I'm blamed for camping and that it's not a good game because I had camped after the doors were open and that I had tunneled someone and decisive them because they had a flashlight to which they rage quit and I didn't even get my double pip I was deserved of. This, that, it was a, it was a pretty interesting game playing Wraith and being blamed for what I did because I did what I had to do to kill people. So this is full on honesty to survivors and I hope this message gets out there and please everyone help me discourage other survivors from kind of talking down to killers because without killers, you don't have a game. And unfortunately, I'm already finding it hard to play a survivor because there's just not a lot of killers out there. And I have to be a killer main these days because I don't see any killers out there. Not as much as I really should. So, uh, sit back, get your popcorn, and enjoy my full salt. Good game after camping? Mmm, damn son. I didn't know camping with the doors open wasn't an already viable thing. Anything goes- it's not that anything goes with the Wraith. It's that... Camping is a viable strategy. And saying that the Wraith is not there to camp, I mean he's perfectly fucking invisible. While standing still. Does someone want to tell me what that's for? Because that's like saying you run insidious and you weren't using that to hide. Like, it, it was obvious fucking bait. And then the second one was obvious fucking bait. And not only did I not camp, but I chased down the people. They could have saved him with my back turn, but then I knocked down the other person. As the wraith. The wraith! I don't even know how, like, you don't understand that. The Wraith! If you lose to the Wraith, feels bad, man. Technically, any killer can camp, as long as they can make it viable. But to say that the killer did his job, and he should be shamed for doing his job, is silly and dumb. To be fair. It's like you can't... Uh, I'm sorry, they looped me, dropped pallets, decisive struck, jumped over windows. Is that fair? I'm slow going through windows. Like, am I supposed to say loopers? Am I supposed to scream... Like, when, when, when does it become fair that a killer does his job? I get face camping sucks ass. I've always said that. I don't face camp because it's not viable for a killer. But especially at the end game, you can't go out and say, fucking that guy's a camper. He has to! You're gonna save them! Like, and if you're being altruistic at the beginning, that's your own goddamn fault. And I don't know how to say that any better. I'm not even being toxic. I, I'm being, like, the most logical person in the world. If I'm trying to just win, like... And you're being an altruistic motherfucker. What do you want me to do? Uh, just let let them go? Hang on. You know what? Fine. We're gonna we're gonna play the game as it was designed to be per a killer's perspective. If you want to camp, then fine. But don't drop a good game at the end. That's my view. Why not drop a good game? Why why not drop a good game? And if, if you're gonna say that I can't say good game for doing my job, then if you jump through a pallet, if you jump through a window, if you drop a pallet, bring a flashlight, use a med kit, or any other, like decisive strike, sprint, burst, self care then you can't say good game because you're cheating technically i hit you you can't heal get your allies to heal you 
don't get a boost to speed that's faster than the killer. I'm supposed to be faster. The mechanics of the game, if we were to run absolutely no perks, is I'm always supposed to be faster. In fact, let's just play no perks at all and no items. And then it will be the most perfect game in the world. It's It, it comes down to you're telling me I can't have a good game because I did my job. Look, it's not my fault that you don't die when I hook you. I, I'm sorry. But if you have a health bar and I have to defend, but you ruin their game by camping them, are you serious? They ruin my game by saving people on the hook. So why is it that you're gonna fucking tell me that I can't have fun because these four fuckers are gonna save each other? And I'm playing the worst fucking killer, which mind you, they're running the most top tier perks in the game for survivors at the time that make it almost impossible to play Wraith. But you are telling me I have to cave into four other players. Really? Really? Because without me, you don't even have a game. You don't even have a game. You need me. Because if no killers exist, no survivors can play against anybody. And if no survivors don't exist, killers can't play. You cannot tell me that I cannot do my job because if you lose, you need to get good. You have pallets, items, perks. You have everything to not go down at all. And you are complaining that I killed you. No. No. That's my view. You can't bitch you're not as good as me. That's not gonna happen. No. That's just illogical in every way. If they're not having fun, fun is subjective. And I'm not having fun if they're living. I'm not having fun losing either. So why why can they have fun and I'm told I'm shit for doing my job? Like, why should I be playing killer then at all? To be fair, why should I even play killer? But no, watch. I'll play this game exactly as all survivors have told me to. So don't worry. Don't worry. I'll show you exactly what survivors want from me. Dude, look at this! Look at this fucking window loop that's gonna be happening for a while. Look, she's not taking that one to loop me longer. Look at how much time I'm gonna have to chase around here. Oh look! A pallet dropped right next to this d almost infinite double window loop with two people here and I can't hit them. Oh, but no, no, no. This is fun for me. This is fun that I have to go through all these fucking pallets. There's a generator. Uh, look, look I, I can't even catch the dude. Look at him! Wait, there's gonna be a pallet coming up here in just a second. Oh, there's bloodlust and a mechanic made for me. Oh, look at that. Come a pallet. But wait. wait. I'm not having fun. I can't. Because what am I supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be killing him and I can't. Oh look! Look how far ahead he is now! And now we're playing the Let's Chase Him game. I'm playing a top tier killer. Holy fuck! Yeah! Damn it, she went back through pretty fast. Okay, okay, look, I found someone else. This is the third person I found, and I have not been able to hit anybody yet. We haven't even struck anybody in the back of the head. Oh, a window was there. Um look, I'm getting looped. She dropped another pallet. This is fun for killers, man. Look at how easy this is to fucking avoid me. Look, using corn. I can't fucking see through this shit. I can't see through this shit. I got fucking eyes like a hawk. Okay, kids. All right, we got to play the survivor way. All right, when we hook somebody, we must walk away immediately. Just go away. Don't look back. Let them get saved. Let's see how many kills I get at the end of the game for doing this. Let's see. Oh, look. Okay, so it's on the other side of the map. I can't go near the survivor. Oh, look. I found Lori again. Oh, they saved her. So I have one point out of fucking nine, and they are already two generators in. Somebody explain to me why I'm not doing my job. Someone explain to me why I should have just left her there and not strategically put her somewhere and then defended my territory. Like, makes no fucking sense to me. Okay, so two generators in, I'm one point, which means I have to hook her two more times to even kill her. Another pallet! Another pallet! It hit, but missed. Okay, I'll take that as it is. This is fair. This double looping window? Mmm, this is fair. This is fair. But you're telling me I can't kill them. Okay. Got it. Like, this is so fun, kids! This is why killers camp. You think we want to. Like, you fucking sit there and think I want to? Come on. Look at this shit. Fucking ridiculous. She ran to my right. She's over here. Look, she's looping me simply because I cannot see her. Look at this. Look how fun and amazing this is. Another pallet, she has not gone down one time. Lost her through the corn I can't see through. Oh no, I kinda see her. Kinda saw her. Oh no, she's going through the window that I've been looped through twice already. Come on. 
Oh, she's going back to the pallets that she already used. Uh, I got stunned because I couldn't turn at all to make it fair that my insta down is not so much an insta down. Uh, oh wait, here comes the instant looping again. She's gone through this window god knows how fucking much. Look at this. Look at this. You're telling me camping, I can't say good game? I haven't even hit her! Look at this, another pallet. Holy dick, does someone want to explain this to me? Oh wait, she can quick turn on the spot? Mm, I can't, not with chainsaw. Mm, look at that. One generator left, nobody's down. Can't camp though. It, it, this double looping is fun. I, I'm, I'm hoping this proves a fucking point. I hope this proves the biggest fucking point of this game. That campers exist because it has to. It has to. I have to be allowed to stop people. I hit one person. Because he didn't loop me. Oh look, they got the door! Oh, oh I, did, I don't even know how I got that. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. You can give me that. Okay, kids. All right, I gotta, I gotta hook these guys before, and then I gotta let them go. Okay. Okay, I'm not allowed to camp. But the doors are powered, so they could open both doors and save him any time, and just run out. But I'm not allowed to camp, or else I can't say good game. Go, go and touch the other wall. I gotta leave. I gotta leave, kids. Okay, hang on. I came back to him. I'm not, I'm not supposed to tunnel him. I gotta kill someone else. Hang on. <laughs> All right. See, I gotta go for her. Now they went for the save, so I can't stop someone who's injured and who's about to escape. So I gotta, I gotta do this real quick. Okay, I knocked her down. Gotta break this though, so I can catch them. No, I, ju I just want my point fucking proven. If you wanna tell me it's not fun for them, but it's fun for me, yeah, fuck off. No. All right, I can't be near this door that they can open. That would be camping as well. Going to the other side. Now watch me be told they had a fucking great game, and watch me how pissed- Or they'll tell me I'm a shitty ass killer. But, oh, but, oh, but I'm fucking supposed to do this, right? I'm supposed to. Oh look, she's got an open door! She could just walk out and I can't hit her. Oh she- Ah, oh. Damn it, guys. Oh, I can't go back. That's camping. I gotta be over here. Oh, they saved him, but I can't go for him because he just got off the hook. I just hit a damn <coughs> barrel. That's my own damn fault. <coughs> oh, wait, did they open that door right next to him? Oh, no, I didn't see this coming. Can I stop them? Can I stop? No! No, oh, he's teabagging me? Oh, that's what I get? Oh, I didn't know if I didn't play fucking defensive, they get out free. Three points out of nine for being the nicest fucking killer in the game. It's not even viable. <laughs> so fucking done with that argument. So dumb. It's so dumb. <laughs> um, I'm crying. I think I gave myself a whiplash. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> In the end, killers have to play defensive at times. There has to be a proper mix of patrolling and defense as well as active hunting. That makes all killers successful as they can bring a false lull that it is safe to rescue your allies, but also check various enclosed generators to prevent further progress. It is important that we as a community don't push ourselves into the mud and shun a side of players for doing their job. So for that, Killers of Dead by Daylight, I thank you for all that you do, be it the shit you go through for survivors or the shit you dish out to them. It is nice to know that some players will do what needs to be done to get the job done.
And I ask that we, as a community, need to start acknowledging that it is not the killer's fault you died or got camped. It's your fault as a survivor. If you go down and get hooked, you have no one to blame but yourself for being caught. I think we'd do better to stop blaming others for camping and instead just learn to get better at the game as a survivor. I've already seen amazing progress from various players as it seems that most players are on their game and I don't see a lot of people playing at a lower level anymore. And with that, I think we can just close the gap. If you get camped and you're not having fun, ask yourself how did you end up in that position in the first place? How did you get down? Were you the first one spotted? How long did it take you to fall down? If somebody is going down, then discourage the camping by getting generators. It's a strategy that we all already know of. People on Reddit, people on various forums in the Steam community, it's all there. We all already actively discuss all these strategies that are already there to discourage camping in the beginning of the game. But we can't also deny that it's near impossible for the killer to do anything more than cap at the end of the game. So with that, we have a perfect balance, and it's just now up to us to be get better at the game to kind of close that gap of, you know, hatred and salt. I get it, it sucks to be camped. And if it's happening to you every game, really look at the game and what happened to you in that one. Sometimes it can be a little hard, but when I look back at my own videos and I, I, get, I get mad, I, even I understand when I get camped, I can't get too salty. Even if I do, I never blame the killer. I always say good game, and that's where I leave it to everyone else. I always end my videos the same way, I always end my games the same way. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game. And if you made it this far, bonus clip! The door, but I But you have to walk away, you can't camp the door, I'm the you can't camp either. Yeah, I'm not allowed to be here. I, got, I gotta at least chase this other guy. Gotta it's gotta door. be a little realistic. They gotta get the door, then you gotta go away so that they can unhook her. So you're camping the exit now. Oh it's no, she fun. ran out. It's not fun. That's it's right, you're fun. right. I gotta get out of here. Oh, I'm camping! Oh, no! I'm camping! You're camping on me! I'm camping! I'm camping! camping I'm camping! I'm camping! But they had borrowed time so it didn't fucking matter! But I'm kidding, that was fun for me! I gotta go to the other door, cause, well, I don't know what- Oh, they all got out! Oh, no! I am such a- Had I just sat there and fucking made sure they died or went you back know what? and tunneled them- Well done them. to them, they avoided your camping arms. Good game! Well played! Sorry, I camped. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Fuck it, the shit! <laughs> nah, dude. After gates, hex, hex. What the f- Jesus! <laughs> fucking, he didn't even notice. I fucking ignored. I ignored them all game. Look at that shit.